This video explains the past paper questions from the topic ionic bonding. Let's do the first question. The first question says the electronic structure of atom P and Q are shown. For your understanding, I have written the charges on them. As you see in P, we have seven electrons. So it will need a one electron to complete its octet, gaining a minus one valency. Where Q is having one electron in the outermost shell. So it is easy for it to lose one electron having plus one valency. The reason is uh, it is a metal and metal have a tendency to lose electron. My question says P and Q react to form an ionic compound. What is the formula of the compound? As I have already told you the valencies, the valencies are with the opposite charges but equal numbers. So they are going to cancel out each other's effect and the formula will be QP or PQ. As in writing the name of the com or formula of the compound, we always write cation first. So cation is Q and A9 is P. So the answer should be QP, which is Bravo. So Bravo is the correct ans answer for this question. Second question is rubidium is in group 1 of the periodic table and bromine is in group 7. Okay, group 1 elements are metal, group 7 elements are non-metal, they, when they are forming compound, there is always a transfer of electron because metal have the tendency to lose electron and halogens have the tendency to gain electron. Rubidium reacts with bromine to form an ionic compound. Alright, there is a transfer of electron which shows the electronic charge taking uh, electron change, sorry, taking place for rubidium and the correct formula of the rubidium ion. Rubidium has a symbol Rb. As it is forming, uh, belonging to group 1, so losing one electron, it should have a plus one charge. So our option Bravo and Delta is cancelled out. We have shortlisted our uh, options which is Alpha and Charlie. Now we know that rubidium loses electron. So electron is lost by the rubidium. So Charlie is the ans correct answer for this question. In the next question there is an outline of periodic table given and the question is which ionic compounds could be formed. As I have already explained that ionic compounds are formed between metals and non-metals. We have Z element in a noble group which, is, which are the zero group elements. So they do not have any tendency to react. Among the metals we are being given the elements in group 1 and 2. Group 1 have a valency of plus 1. Group 2 have a valency of plus 2. And we have element just ad adjacent to the noble gases we see a group group 7 so group 7 are non metals with a valency minus 1 so which ionic compound could be formed now you yourself see we have two chances if w is forming a compound with y it should be w y and if x is forming a compound with y it should be x y 2 so we don't see any option with x y 2 so we see an option with w and y so alpha is the correct answer for this question I have one surprise question at the end. Just wait for it. The second last question is the table shows the electronic structure of four elements W, X, Y and Z. W has electronic configuration of 2, 1. It is a metal belonging to first group. X has electronic configuration of 2, 7. It is a seventh group element because there are seven electrons in the valence shell. Y belongs to the fourth group. I am just looking at the valence electron and I can easily predict which group it belongs to because we know that valence electron tells us, gives us information about uh, the group number. I have made a video where uh, I have explained the periodic table that how to read the periodic table, what are the characteristics of periodic table. So you need to watch that video to understand it better. And why as you can see they say four electron in the outermost shell. So obviously belonging to fourth group Z is having eight electrons. So it is a noble gas because it is having a complete outermost shell. Question is which two atoms combining to form an ionic compound. Ionic compound is formed between a metal and a non-metal. W is a metal. X is a non-metal. So W and X is the correct option. Y belongs to the fourth group. Fourth group elements are carbon family. Carbon family start making a covalent compound because it's a non-metal. Z as it belongs to the noble gases, they are not reactive because they have complete outermost shell. So I have shortlisted my options to W and X. So W and X is only in option C, uh, option A. So A is the correct answer for this question. Now let me um, reveal the last surprise question for you. 
all right so these are some past paper questions extracted for you from paper 2 your task homework task is you need to solve these papers my number is in the description box send me your answers uh, on whatsapp and i will check and give you the feedback in a way that i'll make a video on it so that you get your answers uh, or in the comment section you can just write done teacher and then i would know that uh, how many of my students have done it and i will uh, post a solution video uh, a marking scheme video for this uh, these questions so that is all for today i'll catch you in the next video thank you god bless allah hafiz